Hi, I'm Gladys, and today we're going to assemble the Princeton crib. Make sure you have all the pieces and hardware, and if anything is missing, please call Consumer Care. One way to know you have the proper hardware is to compare it with the illustrations that come in the instructions. There you go. The first step is to attach the posts to the sides of the crib, and for this we will need four barrel nuts and four 55 millimeter bolts and also the Allen wrench. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways because that's where the bolt is going to go through. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. And you're done. The second step is to attach the sides of the crib to the back rail. And for this, we're going to need two barrel nuts and two 75 millimeter bolts. Don't forget to use the label as guidance. Remember, the bolt always goes sideways. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. You're done. The third step is to attach the top back rail onto the back rail. There's a ridge, so you need to make sure that you align it just like so. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. And that's it. Next is to attach the mattress support. For this, you're going to need four 18 millimeter bolts. And remember to do it on the highest position and then go downwards as your child grows. Remember to use the short side of the other wrench to tighten all the bolts. And you're done. Now we're going to attach the front rail to the crib. And for this step, it will be easier if you loosen up one of the sides of the mattress support. Like that. For this, we will need two barrel nuts and two 75 millimeter bolts.
Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways. And don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. Like so. And remember to tighten the side of the mattress support. Like that. The last step is to attach the stabilizer bar. And for this, you will need two metal fins, four barrel nuts, and four 75 millimeter bolts. For this step, you have to have the crib on its side. And first, we will insert the pins. And don't forget to insert the barrel nut on its side. Always use the short side of the outer wrench to tighten all the bolts. And you're done. Don't forget to store away the instructions into the pouch. Congratulations, you've just assembled your Princeton crib. Now we're going to convert your crib into a day bed. Remember, since your child is bigger now, the mattress support should be on the lowest position. First, we will remove the front rail and stabilizer bar from the crib, and all you will need is your Allen wrench. Now we're going to reattach the stabilizer bar and for this we're going to need the crib on its side. So we're going to need four barrel nuts and four 75 millimeter bolts. Always insert the barrel nut sideways. And that's it. A toddler guardrail and crib conversion rails are available for purchase.
Hi, I'm Gladys, and today we're going to assemble the Princeton crib. Make sure you have all the pieces and hardware, and if anything is missing, please call Consumer Care. One way to know you have the proper hardware is to compare it with the illustrations that come in the instructions. There you go. The first step is to attach the posts to the sides of the crib, and for this we will need four barrel nuts and four 55 millimeter bolts and also the Allen wrench. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways because that's where the bolt is gonna go through. 